We are wrapping up our daytime beer week with Deschutes Brewery. We have Nate and Sarah joining us from Deschutes. Welcome, guys. Thank you. It's hey, great to be you. here. Yes, Lovely. welcome. Yeah. And you brought some beers for us to taste. Yes. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about the tasting room. How's it going? You guys are hopping, aren't you? It's been awesome. We are <laughs> just about, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah, we're just about at our two-month mark, and we're so excited, and the community is, is coming out, and really, it's been great, so. Good yeah. deal. That is awesome. So tell us a little bit about Deschutes for people who might surprisingly not be familiar. Sure. Yeah, sure. So Deschutes Brewery is a uh, family and employee-owned company that um, started in uh, 1988 back in, in Bend, Oregon. Um, so yeah, we're a um, we're a really tight-knit family um, is, is kind of how we feel. And the reception that we've had in Virginia has been incredible. It feels mm -hmm obviously like an extension of that family yeah. and everyone who comes into the tasting room feels that vibe you know from Sarah and the folks who who work over there they get that impression you know it's That's very great. tight knit yeah and you were saying that you had a lot of people come in and saying that they visited Bend or yeah so yeah. many people have been in Bend and they they feel at home when they come to our tasting room so that's so cool great. so <laughs> let's start tasting yes well, okay. what are we gonna do which one's first all right we are gonna start with Pacific Wonderland and okay. that Switch is spots all right we'll see yeah. spots mm -hmm. um, so that is our dry hopped lager okay. um, I love the koozie that you have yeah on yep Mm -hmm. So cute. Go ahead, Brittany. Thank you. Can have you. Yeah. First four. <laughs> okay, so what is this one all about? So this one is really all about um, a beer that you can take anywhere outside. Oh, okay. Wow. So it's really refreshing. Yeah. It's again with the dry hopping. It's nice and crisp, crushable. Uh, you know, with a bend and mm. Roanoke, you're mm. mountain biking, you're kayaking. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect for all of those activities. So. Yes. Yeah. Very refreshing. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, what's next? Right. So what's next is I'll switch spots with you again. All right, we'll <laughs> rotate through. So the next one we're going to pour is the uh, Fresh Squeezed IPA. It's my favorite. Yeah, this is a very popular one. Totally. Um, and it's great, especially for IPA drinkers and for non-IPA drinkers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a great yeah. um, it's a great beer from that perspective. But this is, um, is going to be very, you know, juicy. It's going to have a little of that caramel malt character to it as well. Um, I think it's extremely approachable. Um, this is our best-selling. Uh, this is our best-selling beer right yeah, here, right. and uh, I know that I I help that uh, best-selling number myself. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I can see it's why it's delicious. Yeah, it's really has a nice favorite. flavor. Okay, favorites. and then finally, what do we have? All right, so let's finish it off with our Black Butte Porter. Yeah, uh, and this, this is my favorite one. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. Creamy, smooth. People that, again, don't enjoy porters always are, are really going to gravitate towards this one. That's um, me. That's how mm -hmm. I, I connect with that. Mm -hmm. I typically don't like a porter, mm -hmm. yeah. but this is so good. You know, the first time we had it, we uh, had paired mm. it with chocolate. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, just like that yeah. initial taste was just great. Yeah. It's so smooth. It's not filling or heavy or anything yeah. like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just really nice. And we really love to nice. hear that because we, we really believe believe that. People will try it and they'll say, wow, I was expecting it to be yeah, mm -hmm. heavy yeah. and something like that, but it yeah. has that crisp character. It has that roast chocolate. Yeah. But I mean, and that's one of the first, that was one of the first three beers that we started making. And it's, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. It still so stands the test of time. You all have an Imperial Stout coming, yes. right? The tell Abyss. Us, tell us about that. Uh huh. Yeah. So the Abyss is our, uh, yes, yeah, our barrel aged Imperial Stout. Okay. Um, uses uh, cherry bark, vanilla bean, uh, blackstrap molasses, and then it's barrel aged in um, a variety of different barrels. Okay. Um, and then this year as well, actually Sarah's going to be bringing in some cool variants of it as well. So we've done some variants that are then 100% barrel aged in other things like, um, you know, brandy barrels and uh, oh. rye, uh, Willet rye barrels That's and great. things like that as well. So. So you'll have to come down. Uh, should be November for that. Yeah, okay. we'll have Definitely. a nice release party. So in the meantime, we can go down to the <laughs> tasting room now and try yeah. these. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everything that you see here and many more, as well as um, we're featuring some fresh hop beers as well. All so right. chase some freshies and hop trip. Yeah. Cheers. Great. Thank yes. you so yes. much, guys. Thank you. <laughs>